Hey, what's going on, YouTube subscribers? BK Randy's over the internet. It's legit rabbi. And some of you are really confused right now. You're like, Rabbi, how are you talking to me? This is awesome. Where'd your account go? And some of you are kind of confused and have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, so let me give you the rundown. Basically, the other day I went to sign to my YouTube channel as normal, and I couldn't. It, it was gone. Uh, my first thought was it was hacked. So I basically sent a message to everyone, or at least tried to send a message to as many people as possible letting them know what had happened and I would just be done forever because I thought it was hacked and uh, some of you might think well Rabbi's just gonna open up a new channel and we'll do it all again and that's not the case uh, I was officially done why make videos if I'm not having fun doing this anymore and it's not fun if I have to keep restarting a channel so I wasn't gonna do that I was gonna throw in the towel and uh, get a life uh, but that wasn't the case. Apparently, my channel was not hacked. And it's a pretty long story, but I'm not going to go into it. Uh, but basically, I contacted YouTube for an early Christmas present, and they were able to help out. So, pretty cool beans. Uh, they hooked me up, and they retrieved my account. The only downside is I lost all my videos, but I guess that's, like, the least of my worries. Uh, I have a playlist on my channel called CodOps 24-7, so you can always go there and see all my old videos or you can just go to the channel itself and type in my name uh... those videos aren't gonna get messed with though because two bucks has a big penis and i know they're not gonna screw with that um, but that's really good news especially for those of you that like my videos um, i'm glad that i can keep bringing you guys videos and i was actually really disappointed because i, I had so many live commentaries that i recorded the last uh... weekend or so like i'm set for ten million years well, not that long. Like, yeah, that's kind of a long time to watch videos. Maybe not 10 million, but somewhere around there. Like, I could upload a lot. I'm pretty much set for a while. And uh, I'm officially on Christmas break, which is awesome. No school for, like, 14 days or something. Like, 17 days, actually. Yeah, like, 17 days of chillaxing and all-nighter Xbox dashboard camping. I'll get to that in a minute, but... Um, yeah, I'm not going to upload every day because I think that's stupid, but if you guys continue to like the videos and uh, rate them, I will upload more frequently, and I have a lot of live commentaries uh, that I've recorded. Um, and it was kind of a shame because I thought I would just have to get rid of them and just kind of bag it, but I got lucky and everything's all cool. Um, Christmas is coming up soon. I'm excited to do nothing, go eat Chinese food or something. Maybe I'm going to go to New York, I think, New York City and like go ice skating. Not in like, okay, not in like the uh, figure skating way. Whenever I say ice skating, everyone thinks like I'm a figure skater. No, like I like ice skating. I used to play hockey, but um, yeah, this is a team deathmatch on firing range with the MP5K. I got 54 kills this game, which is insane. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's good. I'm not that good. I don't do this every game, so I think I get to pat myself on the back for a second here. Um, I was actually whoring out so many of the kills that my teammates ended up quitting except for uh, my two friends who were in the game with me, which I guess helped me because I had a better opportunity to get more kills. And when I get a good game with this gun, I don't feel guilty at all because I think it takes skill to use the MP5K. Like, it's got high power, but it's also got really high recoil, so you can really shoot people like in the chest and uh, get a lot of kills, especially on a small map like Firing Range. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, firing range is fun because it's small and you can get like your quads, uh, quad napalm, kill feed, frag grenade, but it's not obnoxious like Nuketown where it's always going to be a spawn trap rape fest. Uh, so yeah, I am, uh, still working hard on my win streak. Uh, it's going up drastically. I think I'm on like a 70 win streak now. It's pretty nice, and uh, my when I started, when I first made that announcement that I was going for the positive win-loss, it was at like .36, my win-loss ratio, and now it's at like .66, so huge ups there, and I'm just going to keep going. The annoying thing about Call of Duty, though, is if you like go into a game, most likely, if you're by yourself, not with a full party, it's going to be a game that's in progress, and someone on your team rage quitted, so you're going to get a loss. And it's not going to break your streak, but you will get a loss, and that's not really good if I'm going, trying to get my wins up. Uh, but whatever. Um, yeah, I've just been, like, playing a lot of Call of Duty, and I've been playing a lot of Halo 3, too, which is an awesome game. And I miss that game a lot, because Reach has just kind of lost its fun. Um, 
What else? What else? Oh, dashboard camping. I'm going to release a video on how to properly dashboard camp. It's pretty awesome. It's basically like an all-nighter on Xbox, but you can't really play Call of Duty Black Ops for more than like an hour or two because it kind of gets boring. So what you do is just kind of chill on the dashboard, and there's certain like requirements that you have to do to dashboard camp, and I'm going to teach you them so you guys can have a rocking holiday dashboard party, I guess. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. I've been doing that. I think I started it last year with my friends. So, uh, yeah, I think the game is just about over. I finish up with uh, this pretty nice Napalm. Napalm is a really good kill streak, and I don't think enough people use it because it's only at five kills. But it's actually a burning airstrike, and it stays there for a few seconds. So you can usually pick up some people uh, even after the initial drop. So that's the end of the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm back. Thank God. Thank YouTube. Uh, remember, you can take away a channel, but you can't take away the people. Unless you, like, kidnap the people. But it would be hard to kidnap a lot of people. That would be a lot of, like, robbers or burglars. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I'll see you guys later.